Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna show you an easy way to create editable worksheets using Google Slides. In today's video, I wanna show you how you can take a worksheet and make it editable by students. So the first thing we'll do is let's go find a worksheet that we can use. So the first thing I did was I hopped into Google and I did a search for math worksheets and then went to images. And obviously you can be much more specific for what you're looking for. And you might even have your own worksheet, which I'll show you how to do that in a second. But let's just say we're gonna use this worksheet here. You'll notice when I click on it, it opens up a bigger picture. And in the bottom left corner, it shows me um, the resolution of the image. And this happens to be 1275 by 1650, which is really good. The higher the numbers, the uh, higher the resolution for the image. So I could simply right click and save image as. Now we have to save this to be able to use it as an editable file. So I'll save image as, and then I'll just make sure it's saved as a JPEG. It could be any image file though. Now let's say though that this resolution was really small. You can click on the actual uh, link to the website and you might get a much better file. So let's say, for instance, it took me to a website where this was not an image. This could be uh, either a PDF file, it could be a web file, or anything else that wasn't able to be saved as an image. There's a couple ways that you can save it as an image yourself. The first way is to click the print screen button. Now, if you're on a laptop or a computer, you'll have a button on your screen that says PRTSC. That's print screen. If you press that... You can go into paint, you can just paste that, and you'll see it pastes the whole screen. So from here, I can select the crop box, and I can select the area I wanna save. So we'll use this here. Then go back up and select crop, and you'll notice it cut out everything else that I didn't want, the rest of my screen. Now I can just go to file, save as, and I can save this as a file called math. Another option is if you have a snipping tool, I know a lot of uh, Windows-based computers have a snipping tool. You can just select new. You can then create a box around the space you want. And you'll see it creates a new file. I can hit save. And I can save this as my file, I'll just call it math2 since I already have math1. If you're on a Chromebook, you can hold down the control, shift, and switch window buttons. And when you press those three buttons down, you'll be able to create a box around the uh, area that you want to save as an image. And if you're on a Mac, you can hold down the shift, command, and four button, and that will also let you select an area of your screen that you will save as an image. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the page size. So we're going to make it look like a piece of paper uh, that will fit the aspect ratio of our worksheets. So let's go to File, Page Setup. And here you can select um, Custom. And you can decide what you want your page to look like. So we'll say we want an 8.5 by 11. And again, you can kind of pick whatever you want, but that's just the size of a standard sheet of paper. Now we're gonna go up here where it says background. And we're gonna choose an image and then upload. Then we'll go into our folder. We'll select our worksheet and select done. And now you'll see the background of this image is our worksheet. I can't move this which means when a student has this, they won't be able to move the image. So that is locked into place. So now we can simply create some text box. So we'll go up to insert, text box, and we'll create a text box. And we'll just say like, answer here. And just like with anything else, you can change the font size or the color. So we'll just say answer here. And that looks like a good size text box where they should just be able to put a number in. Uh, we'll just, let's just center it. 
And now I can just copy and paste this uh, across the line. So I can just control C and then control V. And then I can control V. So I can just keep pressing control C, control V. It will show me the guides. So let me make sure that these are all lined up and so on and so forth. And now when I share this with a student, when they click on it, they can just click where it says answer here and put their answer in. And if you have several worksheets that you want the students to work on, you can just add a new slide and you can add a background and just choose a different worksheet and you can add as many as you want in here. So I've gone ahead and added a few more slides with worksheets just to give you an idea. So this first one is math. Then I added one, which was vocabulary worksheet. And you can see I just put in text boxes over the blanks here. And then another idea is you can also add in other information as well. So I have a slide here that just has a link to a video and has instructions. You know, watch this video before completing the next activity. Once they finish watching the video, they can then go and they can fill in this diagram of the parts of a body. So to share this with students, you can do that in a couple different ways. The first is you can go to Google Classroom. So I can add this as an assignment in my Google Classroom. And then I'll add in my slide presentation. And you just want to make sure that you make a copy for each student so that they all have their own editable worksheets. And then you can assign it that way. But if you're not using Google Classroom, there is an easy way that you can share this with your students using one link that will create new copies for each student. So the first thing you'll do is go up to share and then we'll change our settings and we'll make this so that anyone with the link can view. We'll select done and then up top here where you see the URL, it'll say slash edit with a bunch of numbers and letters. We're going to change that to slash copy. So if you give your students a link that ends with slash copy, when they click on that, it will create a new copy of this worksheet specifically for them. So let me show you what that looks like. So I've just went into a new window and I logged in with my school email address. And you'll notice that when I pasted the slash copy, it will say copy document. Would you like to make a copy of worksheets? And this is what your students will see when they click on the link, select, make a copy. And then they'll have their own copy that no other students will be able to see. And then you'll see that when they click on any of the answer here's, they can just type their answer in. And again, they can't move this page. They can only click on the text boxes and then they can just type in their answers. The only thing is if you have them use the slash copy, they will have to share it with you. Unlike when you create something in Google Classroom, it won't automatically share the document with you. So using Google Slides is a very easy way to create editable worksheets. If you have any questions with this or need any help, please feel free to reach out to me. I do my best to respond to as many questions as possible. You can leave me a comment in the comments section below. You can reach out to me on Twitter at Dan Spada. You can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash the ed tech show. I also have several other tutorials in the description below. So links to things like how to use Google meet, how to use Google Jamboard and so much more. If you found this video or any of those videos helpful, please feel free to share them with teachers who might find them helpful as well. Also, if you're looking for ways to stay up to date with all of my latest videos, please click the subscribe button and there's a little notification bell next to that. If you click that, you will get a notification every time a new video comes out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.